welcome to my pretend pastry kitchen. I'm Emma, and today I'll be showing you how to make these 4th of July themed tie-dye pineapple upside down cupcakes. They're a pineapple yellow cake base topped with a maraschino cherry, pineapple chunks, and baked in a delicious brown sugar glaze. Let me show you how to make them. To start, we're gonna grease 24 cups in our muffin trays with either a cooking spray or a butter. And then I have eight tablespoons of melted butter right here. And we're just gonna spoon one teaspoon of melted butter into each of the cups. Now we'll spoon one tablespoon of light brown sugar into the bottom of the cups and we'll pack it down with the back of the spoon. Now I'm going to take a maraschino cherry and place it in the center of each cup and then place my, I have pineapple tidbits but you can use chunks or tidbits or whatever you have, but my small pineapple pieces in a ring around the cherry. If you drain out the juice, just make sure to save it because we'll need half a cup later for the cake. Now we'll set these aside to make the cake. In a large mixing bowl, sift together two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. In the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, add eight tablespoons of cubed room temperature unsalted butter and one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar and cream those together for about a minute at medium speed. Your butter and sugar should look like this. Now we'll add a quarter cup of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Give that a good mix, then scrape down the sides of the bowl with a rubber spatula, and then mix again just to make sure everything gets well incorporated. Your mixture will look like this. Next, we'll add three eggs, one at a time, mixing in between each addition. At this point, our batter should look like this. In front of me, I have our wet ingredients that we were just working on, the dry ingredients that we sifted and set aside earlier, half a cup of pineapple juice, and half a cup of buttermilk. Now, in small batches, we're going to alternate between these three bowls, adding into the bowl of the stand mixer. <laughs> Mix on low speed between any addition. I started by adding a little under a quarter of the dry ingredients and a splash of the buttermilk and mixing on low speed. Now I'll add a splash of the pineapple juice, mix again, and then start again with the flour. I want to add all except for the last little bit of our dry ingredients and then 
all of the liquid so that we're ending on the dry ingredients. That'll give us the best texture. Mix until just well combined, but don't overmix. Your batter should look like this when it's done. Since I'm theming these for the 4th of July, I'm gonna divide the batter up. So I'm gonna leave whatever I leave in this bowl uncolored for white. And then I'm going to dye one bowl blue and one bowl red. And then I'll show you how to make tie-dye cupcakes. Now preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna spoon the batters into the muffin tins. We're gonna take a little spoon, about a tablespoon, and scoop up one of the colors, place it directly in the middle of the cup of the muffin tin, and then take another color, spoon it directly on top of the other in the middle so that it spreads out the color beneath it. Continue doing that, and you'll see that it spreads out into a cool tie-dye pattern. If you want, you can take a toothpick and create squiggles in there to create different patterns between the cupcakes. Have fun with it. Now place these in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown and you can place a toothpick inside them and it comes out mostly clean. But wait five minutes after taking them out of the oven to allow them to cool before flipping them over. That's how they're going to be served is inverted like that. Now I've allowed these five minutes out of the oven to cool and I'm going to flip them over carefully onto this wire mesh rack. That's where I'll let them finish cooling and then they can be enjoyed. And here are our finished 4th of July themed tie-dye pineapple upside down cupcakes. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you do, leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below what you wanna see on this channel next. I can't wait to bake with you again. Bye.